Now, everything that we've discussed so far in this lesson has been centered around shots that were captured with a camera on a tripod somewhere on the ground around the drum set. But a camera on a tripod somewhere around your drum set, that's not the only type of shot that we need. There's a couple of other problem areas that drummers run into when framing. And a big one I see drummers struggle with is foot camps. And really all of this comes down to one question, and that is where do we put the camera? Now there is no right answer here, but hopefully I can save you some time by showing you a few of my favorite options that I've explored over the years and how I approach um, just dialing in a foot camera in general. Now my favorite foot cam angle is just underneath or slightly behind the floor tom. And this depends on what millimeter lens you have. If you have a really tight lens, uh, it's gonna be way behind the floor tom. And if you're using uh, a wide angle or something like that, it's gonna be much, much closer to the pedal, probably underneath that floor tom. But no matter how far back you have to put your camera, you wanna keep a very slight angle towards the drum head and avoid shooting at 90 degrees to the kick drum. This is a really easy one to set up. Just remember that you may have to rotate your floor tom to get those legs out of the way. In this specific camera position, you wanna make sure that you're able to see the carpet underneath or in front of the pedal. And you also wanna make sure that you can see the beater as it makes contact with the drum head. If these two things are there, you'll be in pretty good shape for this angle overall. Now you can also use the thirds grid that we discussed to see if you like to put your foot maybe a little bit off center, or maybe the beater is a little bit off center. In my mind, the center of your foot and the beater when it strikes the drum head are the two focal points that you have to play around with any kind of foot cam. Another foot cam option is to go back and left so you're shooting both of your feet at the same time. I don't think it's always necessary to show both feet, but it's definitely a good option if you wanna show as much as possible just underneath the drum set in general. In theory, when I set up this shot, I want both of my feet to be lined up with our vertical grid lines that we talked about earlier. This is a lot easier said than done, but if you can find that perfect position, make sure to put a little bit of tape on the floor to mark that camera position so you don't have to dial this shot in every time you wanna use it. And if you're not concerned with getting the left foot on camera, you can always just bring the camera a little bit closer to the pedal and focus on only the right foot. The camera may have to be almost underneath or slightly behind your throne uh, to get this kind of shot, but it can most certainly be done, just takes a little bit of time to dial in. Again, this will be very lens dependent. In my mind, this is the more slightly difficult way to shoot your kick drum from the left side here. So I'd recommend shooting from the right side of the kit in most scenarios. And before we move on from foot cams, just remember that this isn't a shot that you have to have. In my mind, I'm only concerned with a foot cam if my foot is doing something interesting or if you know the kick drum is relevant to the type of content that I'm shooting. Like if it's a kick drum based lesson, sure, I'm gonna use the foot cam. But if you're covering a Taylor Swift song with a basic rock beat for four and a half minutes, you don't need to worry about a foot cam. Now let's move on to framing overhead shots. Of all the shots, and framing options.